Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be the greatest day of your life. You know, questions about whether you're on the right career path can strike fear into even the most confident person's heart. You know, it's hard to know. Is what we're doing right now what we're supposed to be doing? And you know, some of the most successful people prove you don't have to have it all figured out from the start. You know, plenty of highly successful people chose to make a major career change, and some of them did it many years into their adult lives and after the age of 30. Now, Jeff Bezos had a lucrative career in computer science on Wall Street and took on top roles at various financial firms before transitioning to the world of e-commerce and launching Amazon at the age of 31. You know, Julia Child worked in advertising, media, and secret intelligence before writing her first cookbook when she was 50, launching her career as a celebrity chef in 1961. And John Glenn is best known for becoming the first American astronaut to orbit Earth in 1962, but 12 years later, at the age of 53 years old, he became a U.S. Senator in Ohio, a role he held for 24 years. Now, he did return to space in 1998, however, on a nine-day mission aboard the space shuttle Discovery. Mar uh, you know, Martha Stewart, I love her story. You know, did you know that Martha Stewart was a full-time model? I didn't know that she had had a modeling career. But as a 25-year-old mother, she found few modeling jobs were coming her way. And after a five-year stint as a Wall Street stockbroker, Stewart turned her love of gourmet cooking and creative presentation into what is now known as Martha Stewart Living. Yeah, that's amazing. And you know, Michael Bloomberg left his job as CEO of the financial software data and media company Bloomberg to assume the role of mayor of New York City, which he'd held for 12 years. Did you know that he has since reassumed his role at Bloomberg as CEO? Guess he doesn't think politics are good for him. I don't know. You know, Vera Wang was a figure skater and journalist before entering the fashion industry at the age of 40, and today she's one of the world's most sought-after and premier designers of fashion clothing. Dwayne The Rock Johnson transitioned careers not once, but twice, before he was the most electrifying man in sports entertainment, right? And Johnson was briefly a backup linebacker for the Canadian Football League's Calgary Stampeders. You know, he ditched the football career and joined the World Wrestling Federation in 1996 at the age of 24. You know, and that did absolutely catapult him to stardom and allowed him to cross over to TV and movies in the early 2000s so we could all smell what The Rock is cooking, right? <laughs> you know, um, long before Ronald Reagan became the 40th president of the United States at the age of 69, he was a young and up-and-coming Hollywood actor in the film and TV industry. I think he was a better president than he was an actor, but I think the fact that he became president at the age of 69 just proves that it's never too late to become somebody amazing. You know, I believe in you, and I know you can do this. A billionaire Spanx founder, Sarah Blakely, sold office supplies door-to-door -door for seven years in her 20s before her line of slimming, footless pantyhose launched to success in 2000. She quit her sales job at the age of 30 to run her company full-time. Arnold Schwarzenegger has made two major career changes. First, when he transitioned from world championship bodybuilder in his 20s, he was obviously Mr. Olympia. Then he became an actor in his 30s, then he went on to become governor of California in 2003 at the age of 56. He lived a full life. He never quit. And he never let age make a determination as to what it is he could be. He just constantly kept changing himself so he could keep his circumstance relevant and continue to realize success in his life. 
we can do the exact same thing. And that's what we're doing here as we're working together, right? Harlan, Harlan Sanders, better known as Colonel Sanders, was 62 when he franchised out Kentucky Fried Chicken in 1952, which he sold for $2 million 12 years later. Before serving up his renowned original recipe, Sanders held several odd jobs, including country lawyer, gas station operator, and he was a railroad worker. Do you know he lived in his car while he traveled all over the United States, was told no, and he kept track. He actually kept a tally of how many times he was told no. It must have been an incredible motivating factor for him. He was told no by 1,000 different restaurants, and all. And this is the deal. He would go in, talk to the restaurant owner, and say, look, I want to do something with you. I'll share with you this awesome recipe I have for fried chicken. And I don't want you to give me anything up front. I'll work on commission. I just want a portion of the sales. I believe in my recipe and I know that if you utilize it in your restaurant, you're going to sell a lot of chicken. There's a thousand restaurants out there right now that I think have regret for not saying yes. We've got to keep an open mind. When people present you with options and ideas, you've got to consider it for what it is. But you must give it consideration. You can't just tell an old guy who walks in, no, no, you know, we're not interested. Unbelievable. You know, everybody knows who Kentucky Fried Chicken is today. And did you know that iconic picture that we see on KFC? That is actually the way that Harland um, Sanders did look. And he is the icon for that fast food industry. Um, his restaurants are amazing. What an inspiring story. And you know what he proves at the age of 62? It's never, ever, ever too late to make a decision that you want a different life, that you believe in yourself, and that you're ready to go out and have a new successful adventure. You know, and before launching uh, uh, viral news media sites, BuzzFeed and the Huffington Post, after the age of 30, Jonah Peretti was teaching middle schoolers how to use Microsoft Office as a computer science teacher. Yeah, he was a teacher, and he inevitably went out and created some of the most iconic media distribution websites that we know of today on the internet. It's amazing. It doesn't matter what you're doing today. You can be anything you want. Or you know what? You just start working towards success and setting goals, and you're going to become something better. Success is going to find you. All of a sudden, you're going to attract all these opportunities. Great things are going to come your way, and you're going to be the best you you can possibly be. You know, comedian and former The View talk show host Joy Bear has always had the gift for gab, as we know, right? But she didn't get her start in comedy until nearly dying from an ectopic pregnancy in her late 30s. Now, that persuaded her to quit her teaching job and go out and pursue her dream. Now, I don't think we all have to go through a life-changing event. I mean, she had a near-death experience, I had a near-death experience, and I know how powerful that can be as a motivator, and it can remind you, hey, I only have one life. And you know, if I, I gotta utilize this circumstance to the best of its ability, because I'm not gonna get to come back another time and redo this. So I might as well, regardless of what's happened up to this point in time, or regardless of where I think I can go, I better get going to the life I want, because this is my only chance to live that life, so I better get going. And that's a great example. So the next time you think about sitting down and oh, maybe tomorrow or maybe the next day, just remind yourself you have today. And that's the only thing we have is today. So utilize it and maximize it to its fullest potential. Get out there and get it done. You know what I mean? I completely believe in you. And I know if anybody can do it, you can. Did you know that Ray Kroc spent his career as a milkshake device salesman before buying McDonald's at the age of 52 in 1954? He grew it into the world's biggest fast food franchise. But keep this in mind, it wasn't until after the age of 52 that he even thought of building 
the greatest fast food empire ever known to man. It is never too late for you, regardless of your age. You know what I always say, you're never too young and you're never too old to start walking down the path of success. Anybody can work on themselves. Age is just a number. It has absolutely no determining factor. You know, the only thing, you can be too young to ride the Ferris wheel, but you're never going to be too young to start working on success principles, and you're never going to be too old to live the life you truly want to live. 100% the truth. It works that way everybody, for every single person. I'm giving you these examples as a motivating factor. You have to believe. Even, you know, Anna, Mar Anna Mary Robertson Moses, better known as Grandma Moses. We all know who Grandma Moses is, right? She be began her prolific painting career at age 78. In 2006, one of her paintings sold for... $1.2 million. Previously, she was a housekeeper and a farm laborer. And then at the age of 78, she just decided, hey, I got this gift. I'm going to share it with the world. And we all know her name now. You can do the exact same thing. You don't have to wait until the age of 78. But if you are 78, she proves it's not too late. It's never too late. Okay? You know, um, Takachiro Mori was an academic who became a real estate investor at the age of 51. That's when he founded Mori Building Company. His brilliant investments made him one of the richest men in the world. And in 1992, he had a net worth of $13 billion. He didn't start until the age of 51. It's never too late. It's amazing. Donald Fisher was 40 and had no experience in retail when he and his wife Doris opened the first Gap store in San Francisco in 1969. The Gap's clothes quickly became fashionable and today the company is one of the world's largest clothing chains. You know, when I was growing up and going to high school and elementary school, we all wore Gap jeans. They were so cool. It's amazing to know that they didn't even think of starting Gap jeans until after the age of 40. Because it's never too late to live the life you want to live. If you have a dream, if you have a desire, don't ever say to yourself, I'm 50, I'm 45, I'm 70, I'm 80. It doesn't matter how old you are. All that matters is you have something that most people don't have, and that's a goal and a dream. And that's all you need. It makes you unique, and it puts you on the right path towards having amazing success in your life. You can do it. Okay? You know, Tim and Nina Zagat were both lawyers in their late 30s when they published their first collection of restaurant reviews under the Zagat name in 1979. The brand has now become a mark of culinary authority. And they didn't even think of writing their first review until after the age of 30. All these people I've presented to you today, none of them had realized their true potential or even thought about their greatest successes until after the age of 30. It is never too late. We don't quit. You never give up. You keep walking down the path towards your goals. You will get there. I guarantee it 100% you can do it. I believe in you. I think you are so amazing. You're an incredible, unique individual that has tremendous potential to do amazing things in this world. I can't wait to hear about all the wonderful things that you're doing and the amazing success that you're having. I've already talked to a few people who have been watching these videos. We're changing lives, friends. We're doing things here that are amazing and wonderful, and I'm so excited to be a part of it with you. In fact, I can't wait, but tomorrow I'm going to come back with some tremendous, amazing things we're going to talk about as we continue to build on our success together. You have a wonderful day, friends. I'll talk to you tomorrow.